Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to integrate your forms with Insight Elite CRM. What does that mean? Well, when someone fills out your form, it's going to send the contact information to your Insight Elite CRM automatically. And yes, we can send them to our organization, to our contact list, or leads on Insight Elite CRM. So all of this is possible, and I'm going to show you how on this video. So let's go jump over to my desktop right now. Okay, this is our job form dashboard. Let's get started with a brand new form so you know how to get started from zero. So let's go into create a form. And in this case, we'll select start from scratch, but yes, you can use templates if you like. And we're also going to select classic form. And yes, you can use card form if you like also. So let's drag in a couple of elements so we can use for our integration. So let's click on add form elements and we're going to ask for the full name, the phone number, and the email. Let's ask for those fields for now. And the next step that we're going to do is head on over to settings, integrations, and we're gonna search for Insightly, there we go, CRM. So now it's going to ask us for our API key. That means that when we provide the API key, it's gonna to connect to Insightly CRM and it's gonna grab the information and vice versa, it's gonna send the information. So where are we gonna grab this? Well, let's head on over to our Insightly site and we're going to hover over our avatar and click on it and we're going to go into user settings so let's click on user settings and let's scroll, scroll a little bit down here and we're going to see api what is this your api key is and we're going to grab this one right here we're going to go ahead and copy it now be aware if you generate a new api key and this changes you will need to update it on job form also so let's go back to our job form integration let's paste our api key and authenticate. Now it's asking us to choose a list. So where is the contact information going to, going to be sent to? So I'll click on this one and we have several options available. So we can send our information to the contact section, to the lead, organization, project, project, or opportunity. So in this case, let's get started with contact, okay? And now we need to match our fields with the ones on Insightly CRM. So depending on the elements that we have on our form are the ones that we're going to have available to integrate with Insightly. So for example, full name is already detected by name. We're gonna add a new field and we're gonna tell it to say, for example, here it is, the phone number. In this case, phone number is going to be this number. So see how we tied the Insightly information with the information on dot form. Again, we're gonna add another field and we're gonna search for the email field. Here it is, email for work. And we're gonna bring it down and we're gonna choose the variable from our job form email. Now, if we had more elements on job form, we're able to view them down here. So if we need to integrate with more fields from Insightly CRM, from the ones right here, well, we add those elements so we can tie them together. So let's go ahead and remove this one for now. We're gonna keep it simple. Let's go ahead and complete the integration. There we go, it's finished. Now, time to test this. Let's go into publish, open in a new tab, and we're going to fill out our, our, our information. So we're going to say Jorge Aguilar, which is my name. And for this one, we're just gonna make it up. There we go. For the email, again, we're gonna make it up also at test.com, and we're going to submit it, okay? So now it's been submitted. Let's go over to our Insightly CRM and find out our new contact. Let's go into contacts. Now, make sure that you're going into contacts because that's where we added it. If it were a lead, we'd see it in leads. So let me search for Jorge. And here it is, Jorge Aguilar, test at test.com. That's the one we've just added and it was done automatically. So what does that mean for you now? Well, every time that someone fills out that form that you sent them, it's gonna send that contact information automatically to Insightly without having to do any further steps. Now, what if we wanted to integrate this to send the contacts to leads? Or maybe you have a different form and that form is meant for leads and one for contacts, so you want to send them to different places. So what we're going to do now is go back to our form. Okay, let's go into settings, integrations, into our Insightly. Let's edit our integration. And instead of sending them to contact, now we want to send them to lead. 
okay? And again, we have to tie our elements with the variables on inside LeeCRM. So again, name is detected automatically. The next one we're going to select is the phone number, and we're gonna tie it to our phone number on JotForm, another field. We're gonna search for email address, and we're gonna tie it to the email address. Now for leads, the, the variables on an slightly CRM do change because you have different type of options. So for example, it's asking us, we can, this is optional, industry, employee count, lean description, address. So if we were asking for employee count on our form, which let's actually do it, okay? Let's save that. Let's go back into our form builder. Let's drag in a short text. And for this short text, number of employees. Okay, that's what we're going to ask. So let's go back into our settings, integrations, and slightly edit next. Again, we're in lead, and let's go tie our variable to that one. Employee count, and number of employees. There we go. Let's go ahead and complete our integration. Finish, and let's do our test. Let's go back, open in a new tab, and for this one, we're going to say Johnny Cage. And again, the phone number, we're just going to make it up. Number of employees, we're going to say, I don't know, five. And the email, we're going to use test2 at test.com. And we are going to submit it. Okay, so now we are integrated this contact to the leads on our InSlightly CRM. So let's go check it out. Our InSlightly CRM dashboard, let's go into leads. Here we go. Let's go ahead and search for Johnny. Here we go. Johnny Cage is right here. So you can see this is our phone number, the email address, open to non-contact, and the lead creation. Now, if we tied our variables with title and organization, that would also display right here. So it's a really good option to add those elements if you want to have a complete information of the leads inside of InSlightly CRM. Now, there's other options available on the integrations. So let's go back into our integration right here. Let's go into settings, integrations, and slightly, and edit our integration. Now, remember I told you we have other options available. These might serve different purposes depending on your needs. So if you need to send someone to organization or a project or an opportunity, well, that's possible also, but make sure that you add those elements so you can take advantage of those sections on InSlightly CRM because the variables will be this, these ones. So for example, the opportunity name, the opportunity description, and the tag for that one. So it's important to have those type of elements ready so they when, when they are answered, it's sent to the right place and opportunity, and we're able to view them. So we're able to see the opportunity name that was set on the form, the opportunity description, or tags. This might be a personal form that you fill out to create those. Instead of going into, for example, and slightly, you can do it in the form. Let me show you. So for example, it's going to ask us opportunity name, opportunity description, and tax. Okay, name and description. So let's just say that we build a form just for our purpose. Let's go ahead and delete these. And let's add a short text, another one, and another one. So opportunity name, and the other one, was the, I think it was an organization. And the last one was tax. Okay, there we go. Let's go into settings. Integrations are in slightly edit integration. We're gonna go into opportunity and we're gonna tie the field. So opportunity name, we're gonna tie it with name. The other one was opportunity description. No, that was organization. We'll just leave it like that for now. We'll, we'll update it in a bit. Tags with tags. Okay, let's complete the integration. So we're using opportunity description as the organization. Let's go ahead and complete. And let me just update that. That should have been updated. Hold on, go into settings. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's description, not organization. So let me update that. And go back into settings. That should be updated now. Description. Okay. So we have the name, description, and the tags. Let's go into publish. 
and let's go ahead and test this. So this is going to be called test for video in the description. We are testing this integration for the video on Jot4. Okay, and the tags for this, we'll just say test. That's going to be the tag for it. Let's go ahead and submit it. So we have the name, description, and the tag for it. Now, like I mentioned before, this could be a form that you're building just for yourself, not something that you're going to distribute. So you just have to open up your Jot form every time, fill it out here without having to go inside of in slightly CRM and doing it here. So it saves you time. Let's go into opportunities. And here it is, test for video. And in this case, we did an ad organization or pipeline for it, but it created the opportunity. Now we can jump in here and fill out what we need. This is also helpful if you want to automate some processes where it helps you out. If you need to create an opportunity each time that you have a contact fill in something, well, we create it here and it's gonna add it automatically when it's filled out the form. So in the form, we can have it do several steps doing this. Well, that is how you integrate your forms within Slightly CRM. We thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials.